Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got for you this absolutely gorgeous Vauxhall Mocha. Now as always, I'm going to do a walk around just so you can see the condition of the car. And then we're going to jump inside and I'm going to show you all the interior features and gizmos and gadgets and everything else. This particular car comes with the registration number Delta Yankee 64, Hotel Charlie Delta. It is a Vauxhall Mocha exclusive 4x4 turbo. It is a 1.4 liter petrol engine, and obviously it is an SUV. Um, it puts out 138 brake horsepower, and it was first registered on the 19th of September, 2014. It has a uh, valid MOT until the 12th of June, 2025. So it's just been MOT, so it comes with 12 months MOT. And the road tax is only 210 pounds for the whole year. So it's very, very low on the tax as well. <clears throat> insurance group, it's 12E, so it's very low on the insurance bracket. So again, it's not going to cost you a fortune to insure it, and it's not going to cost you a fortune to run. Um, CO2 output is 149 grams per kilometer. And in terms of fuel economy, you can expect to get around 35 miles per gallon around town and a fantastic 51 miles per gallon on a motorway run, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's got a top speed of 118 miles per hour. And it has a not to 60 time of 9.9 .9 seconds. So if you've watched any of my other videos, my belief is that anything below 10 seconds, it's a decent, it's a decent car. And this one's just below that 10 second. So yeah, it, and it's got a, quite a bit of a punch to it, to be honest. It, it just goes. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it in terms of details. Um, like I said, it was, uh, it's just been MOT'd. It passed without any advisories. It's it's like a brand new car and I wouldn't expect anything else given the fact that uh, it's got the mileage that it's got. So um, you've probably already read in the, you've probably already read in the description uh, what the mileage is, but if not, I'll show you when we get inside because uh, yeah, it's uh, fairly low. Um, alloys are in very good condition. It's got brand new tires all around and to be honest, I haven't seen a single dent or scratch or anything like that on the anywhere on the bodywork. So it's uh yeah, it's it's an absolutely fantastic condition. Um, the inside is just as nice as it is on the outside. So you've got all four electric windows. That's to lock and unlock the um, uh, doors. And then you can have a look at the seats. They are absolutely lovely that's literally like a brand new car obviously there's nothing under my microphone there either um over here you've got your glove box or glove boxes rather because there's two you've got one here which is pretty good because you can you can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in the top one here um but obviously you do have one on the bottom as well which has your locking wheel nut and your owner's manual as well um <clears throat> Moving over to the rear, again, really, really wide opening doors, so makes uh, getting in and out very easy. Um, full electric windows on the rear as well, and again, seats absolutely lovely. Like, literally, it's like it just came out of the factory. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> bit of dust um, you've got these rear pockets here and then down here you've got a three pin plug Do you know what I didn't even notice I thought it's gonna be a 12 volt socket but no it's a three pin plug great um, obviously you've got 12 volt sockets as well um, <clears throat> in the front uh, right, the seats do fall down fairly easy so you just press on that and then the seats do come down um, but then the thing with this is that you have to lift so you have to lift this up Which way? You, yeah you've got these pull tabs here and the seats go forward and then you have to look how it is underneath honestly it looks like a brand new car <clears throat> and then the seats fall down in, inwards i'm not going to push them in because it's just going to take me a while but yeah the seats fall down and they lie completely flat 
so yeah, you can store a lot more stuff or slightly larger items so yeah that's how the seats go then pull them back let me take this seat belt buckle there we go right and then the seats do come with isofix points as well uh, on the two outer seats so it's a perfect 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 family car honestly it's absolutely fantastic um comes with parking sensors as well both rear and front um there's a four by four turbo uh, to open the boot we've got this button here and then that just goes up and the boot is fairly big as well as you can see i mean it's, it's quite big especially for a car in its class um you do have some hooks some tethering hooks on each side and those are great if you have any groceries or anything like that you can just hang your bags in there and then underneath here you've got your spare tire with all the uh, bits and bobs that you need all right that's it um and also you do have this parcel shelf as well and that's just uh um, in case you have any valuables or anything like that left in the boot, that's just to help you from prying eyes so people can't see what you actually have inside. Um, right, moving over to the uh, passenger side behind the driver. And well, it's pretty much the same thing as on the other side, to be honest. Um, I do like these um, headrests. They're so big, so bulky. I think these are the biggest headrests I've seen. Um, in a car rear yeah they are absolutely huge um, but they give you much better neck support so uh, right again floor seats it's like a brand new car and it drives exactly the same so <clears throat> so coming over to the driver's side so this is to lock and unlock your doors your rear and front electric windows and your electric mirrors as well and over here i'm just getting the key out of my pocket um, over here you've got your lights so it does have auto lights basically you can just leave it on auto lights and the car will turn the lights on and off as and when it needs to um, but then you've got your front window your front no you've got your front fog lights your rear fog lights this is to adjust the height of the headlights and that's to adjust the intensity in the dashboard for the lights and let's jump inside i'm gonna push my seat backwards goes all the way back right so as you can see we've got a multifunction steering wheel so you've got your cruise control here and this is for your media controls let's just go ahead and start the car put your foot on the clutch as you can see all the lights come on as they should car starts straight away and then all the lights go off the only one that's left well the only two that are left is the handbrake and the fact that i'm not wearing my seatbelt but as you can see this car has covered only 59,732 miles so it's very 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 low mileage for its age so and it's been very well looked after it's a two owner it's a it's got two previous owners um it's got a full service history it's just been serviced like i said it's just been mot'd so yeah whoever had this car previously really really took care of it um as you can see it is the 19th of june and yes it is the 19th of june so time and date are up to date and it is 30 yep so time and date are up to date um 23 degrees outside which is unbelievable I, I, thank god i've got this on video because nobody's ever going to believe me um down here you've got your two air vents you've got your um traction control hazard lights and this is for your airbags over here is your radio controls radio works absolutely fine you got DAB digital radio. But I'm old All right, that's it. Uh, I don't want you to distract my video. Um, so, 
Um, yeah, that's where you turn it on and off. As you can see, it's on BBC Radio 2 right now. Um, this is for your presets, and then you've got radio, CD, auxiliary, favorites, uh, traffic announcement, tune, back, config. Well, it's basically a whole radio assay. Um, down here, you've got your uh, dual zone climate control. So you can set a uh, temperature. The driver can set a uh, different temperature to the passenger and that works absolutely fine uh air con is working fine so there's no issues there moving down here you've got uh, your parking sensors button that's your hill descent and your eco button the eco is basically your start stop system and then down here you've got a 12 volt socket like i said and then over here no it's not another three pin plug it's the usb and the auxiliary port as well so Moving over here, you've got a six-speed manual gearbox, which works absolutely beautiful. I mean, I wouldn't expect it not. I wouldn't expect it not to work because it's it's only got fifty-nine thousand miles. But <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is, as always, I'm going to go through all the gears. Put my foot on the clutch. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then to go in reverse, just lift this little button here, and then left and up just like that and that's in reverse so there's no crunches on anything like that when you change gears it runs absolutely beautiful um <clears throat> you get a couple of cup holders here you've got this little funky um handbrake manual handbrake which is great because it's a manual um and then in here you've got some more storage sorry my vest keeps getting in the way um so you got a little bit more storage there and you do have one of these captain armchairs um hand rest so it's really cool because it's it's exactly where you would expect it to be um, it's going straight down like that towards the um, gear lever so yeah but yeah unfortunately you only get it on the driver not on the passenger side but I mean yeah if you're the driver you're the most important one so anyway um, right moving up here so you do have an automatic dim uh, automatically dimming mirror um, basically, if you've got somebody driving with their high beams behind you, um, the, the mirror will automatically dim itself so it doesn't blind you. Uh, you've got your interior lights here, uh, which I'm going to turn off now. Um, sun visors with two lights on each side, and obviously you've got your vanity mirror there. And same thing on the passenger side. And I think that is pretty much it. Um, you do have this menu button, so this is where you can go through the menu and see like what your instant mileage is and remaining oil life 98%, running speed off, impair your unit, tire pressure, tire loads. So yeah, like I said, the tire service has literally just been done. Uh, no, 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 okay. Um, economy consumers eco and there you go that's probably the one that shows you how uh, what's the mileage left in the uh, fuel that you've got your instant consumption your miles per hour and everything yeah um like I said this is a absolutely gorgeous little I don't really want to say little because it's not it's not little in the slightest it's quite a big chunky SUV so yeah, it's uh, absolutely perfect. Like I said, no issues with it whatsoever. Sorry, I'm just pushing my seat forward a little bit. Um, I'm just going to park it right next to my Mercedes and Nissan Micro over there. Um, but yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful. If you are interested and you'd like to um, come and test drive it, please be my guest because it drives absolutely beautiful. There's no knocks or bangs or dings or anything like that coming from underneath. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything because, like I said, it's, uh, it's just been serviced as well. So it's just been MOT'd. Um, so, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not hitting anything. There we go. In the words of Jim Carrey, like a glove. So, yeah. That's in. <laughs> um focus right um so it's yeah there's, there's not much else i can say to be honest it drives absolutely beautiful it's like a brand new car 
with that kind of mileage, 59,732 miles, it's, it is like a brand new car. Everything works exactly as it should. It's got, like I said, a full service history. Whoever owned it was proud of it and took care of it. So yeah, um, if you're interested, again, don't hesitate to contact me, 01684 355032. Or you can find me on www.vindemautos.co.uk. Or you can just email me at vindemautos at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your time, guys. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.